Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Maritza. Please be sure to subscribe down below and also hit the little post notification bell so that you guys will be notified when I post new videos. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm gonna do a vanity tour. I have had a few people ask me if I have a vanity tour on my channel or that they like my setup so I decided why not just film it for you guys and show you guys what it looks like. So if you're interested in watching this then just please keep on watching. Alright you guys so first of all let me explain. It, this is all a mirror here. This is my obviously this is my vanity but this is all a mirror here so you guys are going to be able to see me what's in the background and everything and then what you guys see right there is my little filming setup this is where i like sit down and film my videos this is just my background i normally wouldn't have one up i actually used to just film on my wall but um now that i added that i feel like it looks cute and plus like nobody really walks in here um so anyway let me show you guys the way that it looks this is my full vanity this is my little seat, my little stool. I got this at Ross. I believe it was like $49.99. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% sure. I am going to be linking everything though down below. And like I said, you guys are going to be able to see me in this. Hello. Hi. So where should we start? We'll start right here. Um, as you guys can see, this vanity does have lights here. It does have five lights on each side. These are not LED lights though. I would have liked them to be. They're more of a yellow tone. So I'm going to look into it and hopefully switch these out for LED, which is actually just the uh, like white whitish bluish lights so that way it can kind of look better whenever like if I do sit down in front of here and then film a video or whatnot so what you guys can see here is just what I use kind of like to clean my face or um, like here these little white piece I clean my face with I use this uh, micellar water and then I do have just like some hand lotion here this is my Mario Badescu spray you guys have seen me use this in videos before and then this little cup thingy here I just got at Dollar Tree. Um, I have been looking for a cuter one that kind of matches like this here. Like it's sort of like an alligator print I would say. Um, and I haven't really found one. And I just have like a few knickknacks in here like all of these. I do use these to shave my face. Okay. Sometimes I do touch up my eyebrows with these little razors just up here though. I don't like to go underneath my eyebrows with these because they kind of make your hair grow back really, really thick and I just don't like that. I do have like some eyeliner and like my tweezers and like a pen in here. So I just have like a few extra things in there. Um, on this side though, I have all of like my smaller brushes. Um, pretty much they're all dirty okay so you guys are gonna have to ignore that I do have to wash these I am planning on making a video on how I um, clean my makeup brushes so if you guys want to see that then let me know in the comments down below I do put all of my smaller brushes on one side and then my bigger face brushes on another side these brushes here are mostly all for your eyes and then these brushes here I do use mostly just for my face so I have like my um, blush brush, my bronzer, a powder brush. I mean, I don't know if you guys want me to go in detail with each brush, but yeah. Um, some of my favorite brushes, you guys can probably tell, they're like the dirtiest ones, are the Morphe brushes. Specifically though, the Morphe M433. I don't know if you guys can see that. M433. That is probably my favorite brush of all time, and it's not even expensive either. Um, here I have bunch of my mascaras literally I use this mascara all the time it's the Maybelline lash sensational I also have the Maybelline Gigi Hadid one and then I have the same one that I gifted in the giveaway these two Gigi Hadid ones were gifted to me by my sister-in-law so shout out to her so here I do have just like some chapsticks this is like the EOS bomb but in like a little um, lipstick form sort of um, and then over here I just have a bunch of my lipsticks and like lip glosses some of these are like matte some of these are most of them are nude as you guys can see today I am wearing a red lipstick so let me know what you guys think about that this is 
by ColourPop. This is the um, I Love That I Eat by ColourPop Collection. This is, I'm not even sure the shade of this, but I do have a few of them from ColourPop. They're not all in here. I do also have this one. This one's kind of old. Um, and then I do have, this is one of my favorite ones. This is by Huda Beauty. It's a liquid matte lipstick. Is that even what it's called? Um, so I just have a bunch of things in here. A bunch of my lipsticks, pretty much all of them. So going into the drawers, let me show you guys. So it does have one, two, three on each side. And this is actually like a little door. So I count this as like one. So there's like three little compartments on each side. And then there's a middle compartment. Let me show you guys what's in this one. In here, I literally just put like some hair stuff. Um, in this little thing, I have like a few things of like jewelry and stuff. Um... So yeah, that is pretty much all that is in here. I just have like a few little knickknacks that I use to put my little backboard up or like my little fabric thingy up. So moving on to the drawers, let me show you guys what's, what's in each one. Um, sometimes I do misplace things like you guys just saw that little chapstick was in there. Um, so I'll just put those back when I remember. I do have like... All my foundations in here this is currently what I have right now I have two shades of wet and wild foundation um, this one was actually recommended to me by my friend Yael she's a church friend and she recommended me these she also let me see she also told me about this lipstick and a few other things that I have um, I can't remember exactly what right now um, but yeah, these are like my foundations. I have like my primers. These are like little, um, like the little sample sizes. This is like my favorite primer. So I have a bigger one of that. This one which is like pretty much all gone. I should probably throw that away. I do have a little Clinique cleanser and an overnight mask. So like a, a moisturizer type of thing in here as well. And then I do have my eyelash curler. I also have, um this little tiny thing of concealer and this is the nars soft matte complete concealer in vanilla light 2 i don't even think that's my shade but i just have that in here i also have the tarte shape tape concealer that is way 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 too light for me as you guys can see it's like almost white but i really don't use concealer i've been trying this that's why it's in here it came in like a free little bag that they gave me from Macy's once. So that's why I am using that one. I also have like an eyeshadow primer, which I really don't use either. But that's all that's in there. Um, right under that, it's a little dirty in here. I have this drawer. And this drawer is really cool because it actually has like the outlet here. So that's why I have like all of these things here. Like all well, my curler and my straightener. I have naturally straight hair, so I don't really use this often, but when I do curl my hair, I do like to sit right here. It's pretty convenient because I can just sit on my little stool. I can also just look at myself in the mirror, and I'm able to curl my hair or whatever. So in this drawer, I do have just, like, face powders, my highlights, my bronzers. Um, so these two little palettes. This is a contour kit. This is a pro glow kit. Um, this is what this one looks like. I don't know if I've already shown you guys. I think I have in a previous video. So I do have like these little compact mirrors, little highlighters that I have. This is the Tarte one. This is the e.l.f. one. The Master Comb. You guys saw me use that a lot. Um, I do have two face powders. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then this is the Airspun powder. This is also, oh, this is not translucent. This is actually a naturally neutral. And I have my blush. I literally just own one blush. Or I think... I did own a few more, but um, I didn't really like them. I'm not sure if I tossed them or I ran out, but this is the one that I'm using right now. Um, so that drawer there, or it's like this little thing here. Um, this little thing came off. It just screws back on. This is the thing right here. I just haven't had time to put it back. I need to like tighten it with a drill here. I'm going to have my husband help me with that. But that's why that looks like that. It looks like it's missing a piece there. 
in this drawer here I don't really have a lot of stuff I just have like this little mirror that sometimes I use um, I have like this little Sephora little pouch and then down here I just have this thing that can hold like your phone and you can like record with as well so I just put that in here so in this drawer here I do have like my eyebrow pomade uh, my eyelash glue my little elf eyebrow setting gel or whatever it's called um i do have like this little acne spot treatment thing um it actually really really works it's even like the target brand um but it does work so i do recommend that if anyone's looking for anything for like acne um i do have like this little thing to put your eyelashes on with i'm not even sure the name i have my favorite eyeliner if you guys watch me if you guys have been watching me for a while, this is always the eyeliner that I'm using. I do have like a few extra things in here, like a watch, a necklace, um, some loose eyeshadows, and an extra dip brow pomade in case I run out. I'm actually almost done with the one I have, so that's why I bought an extra one. In the second drawer here, I do have a few of my palettes. Um... I have like the Smashbox palette. I mean, I think you guys have seen all of these palettes before. I've used them in like previous videos that I filmed. Oh my goodness, let me show you guys what David did to one of my palettes. This one's so nice because it has like all of the colors, obviously, like basically of a rainbow. Um, it even has like white and black, so that's really cool. This is kind of like an off-white. Well, so is that one, so I don't really use those any of these right here i have used these before but um you can't even really tell they're almost like brand new i haven't had it for too long this is the bh cosmetics um take me back to brazil palette i literally do all of my eyeshadow looks with either this palette here which is the jaclyn hill palette or this one and this one's literally just to add like a pop of color this smashbox one the Smashbox palette, I don't really use that often. I do if I'm going for like a really natural look because it does have like a bunch of neutral colors. But yeah, that's what I have there. And then down here, I do have my uh, blow dryer. I literally don't have like makeup related things in here. I have a little selfie stick that I don't use. Um, and then I have a binder full of like a few important things. I don't even know what this is. It's like a cable of some sort. I literally will just um, put things in here sometimes and then I'm probably going to put this down here but I will put things in here sometimes and then I forget where I put the stuff. The little stool here, I didn't get this with the vanity. The whole vanity here my husband actually bought as a gift for me. I think it was for Mother's Day last year so I haven't had this for too long. Um, I am going to leave all the information as to all of this. Well, like, basically just the vanity and the little stool down in the description box if you guys want to check it out or look at the vanity. Um, that's, all the information will be down below. If you guys have any questions for me, please be sure to ask me in the comments down below. I do always read your guys' comments, so it means a lot to me, um, those of you guys that actually take your time and comment down below just anything at all i like to read your guys's feedback and see like what you guys are liking but like i said if you guys have any other questions leave them in the comments down below share this video be sure to subscribe i'm almost at 500 subscribers i don't know if by the time that this video is up i will be at 500 but we will see but with that being said you guys that is it for this video please give this video a thumbs up if you didn't already and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.